Hi everybody, Gary Francione for The Abolitionist Approach. An issue that comes up a great deal is advocates being anxious, concerned about how do they talk to people about veganism? How do they start the conversation? It's really very easy. Almost every day we hear, hear about some horrible thing that someone's done to an animal or there's a story about dog fighting or bullfighting or whatever. I mean, it, it, there are lots of stories in, in the media about situations in which people do terrible things to animals. And the reason why those stories are there, and so many of them are there, is because they resonate with people. Newspapers and, and, and cable stations and whatnot, they know these, these things resonate. So they put them out there because people care. And so it's very easy to, if you can focus on something that's something terrible that's happened to an animal, you know, when Harambe gets shot at the zoo, or when there's a story about a bullfighting situation, or that, or when Michael Vick gets arrested for dog fighting, things like that. These things happen all the time, and so when they happen, and when people are thinking about them and talking about them then it provides a perfect opportunity for you to talk about veganism. Why? Well, think about it. People are upset about something that's happened. You, talk, you ask them, why? Why are you upset about that? And they'll say, well, it's, it's terrible because the animal was harmed and there was no good reason. And the reason why people think that way is almost everybody believes that it's wrong to inflict unnecessary suffering on animals, and they don't think that pleasure or amusement constitutes a justification for harming an animal. And so once you get them to see, and they, they will see that that's why they object to Michael Vick dog fighting or the killing of the dolphins at Tai Chi or what, and what, whatever story you want to pick, people object to the infliction of unnecessary suffering on animals. That's a perfect opportunity for you to talk with them about how it's not necessary to eat animals or wear them or use them in other contexts, but focus on eating because until people start seeing the moral reasons for, for not eating animals, nothing's really going to change. Once they see that they, they have no good justification for eating animals, then everything in their lives will change. So focus on eating and focus on the fact that, that there is no good justification for all the suffering and death we impose on the billions and billions of animals that we use for food. There's no, it's not necessary for health. Indeed, an, an increasing number of mainstream healthcare people are telling us that animal products are detrimental to health. But we don't even have to, to say, you know, we don't even have to make the argument that you're going to be healthier if you don't eat animals. All we need to do is to explain to them there's no necessity for eating animals, that all the governmental agencies and the professional organizations all agree that a well-balanced vegan diet is perfectly fine for human nutrition. And so they object to bullfighting or they object to dog fighting or they object to harming, you know, or torturing dogs or cats because there's no necessity, but there's no necessity to eat them either. So what, it's a perfect opportunity. You know, the, as I say, these things come up all the time. It's not that you have to, you know, that you have to go around looking for these stories. They're, they're in the news all the time. Use these stories to get people to focus on, 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 on their, their concern about these stories and, and how they have already accepted everything they need to accept to come to the same conclusion you've come to, that it's wrong to eat animals or otherwise to exploit them. Most people already believe everything they need to believe to get them to see that a vegan diet is what they ought to be pursuing and that they ought not to be wearing wool or leather or fur or whatever. Um, and so it's important, uh, use this mechanism. And I think what you'll find is it's easy to get people in, in into discussions about this. And, and because you're focusing on something that they already agree with, it also makes it less difficult in terms of the tension of the argument because you know you're, you're talking about something that they agree with and you're showing how something that they agree with leads them to the same conclusion you've come to and in terms of learning about what the professional organizations and governmental agencies say about uh, a vegan diet 
please go to HowDoIGoVegan.com. We've got all the links there for you and lots of other information. If you're not vegan, please go vegan for the animals, for the earth, for your health. Thank you very much for listening.